And finally, tonight, renovations are underway at the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth and Seton. The shrine broke ground on the $4 million project last month. Renovations include a new visitor center and an interactive museum celebrating the legacy of the first American-born saint. And joining us now to discuss is Tony DiGiulio, Program Director for the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth and Seton in Maryland. Tony, welcome. Great to be with you. Appreciate your time. Uh, very exciting project happening right now. Can you tell us a little bit more about the renovations and what visitors can expect to see at the museum? Sure, sure. Thanks, Tracy, and thanks for having me on. It's great. Uh, uh, it's great to be here on EW10. It's a great partner of ours. Um, well, you're gonna you're you're gonna have an all new experience if you come here. Many people come through. We see over sixty thousand visitors a year here, and um, you know we're gonna it's gonna start with the parking lot, which may sound uh, pretty dull, but we're gonna increase parking, make parking easier. You're gonna enter through a beautiful new glass entrance. Uh, into the main main hall that will uh, that will welcome visitors and orient them to their experience. Um, then then you'll proceed in through the galleries, all new uh, museum galleries exhibits about Saint Elizabeth Van Seton's life, on into uh, a gallery all about her sainthood and canonization, and it will uh, the experience kind of culminates in a beautiful way in the basilica. Many of you, uh, many of your viewers, I'm sure, have been to the basilica here in Emmitsburg. Beautiful. Um, mosaics and uh, and marble, uh, large 800 seat basilica here here in our small town of Emmitsburg. So uh, the, the the renovations are going to make that experience all unified and new. Uh, it, it it promises to be a a beautiful thing, a beautiful new way to tell the story of Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. It sounds incredible. I'm curious, you know, what are you hoping that people will take away from these uh, from the museum and the renovations? Well, we really hope that they're going to have a better connection with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. You know, obviously, we tell her story here every day, and we love to tell it, and we love her, and we want everybody to, to love her. A lot of people, uh, you know, as a kid, I grew up, I, I kind of thought of her as a, another stuffy uh, nun saint, and, you know, but she is anything, but her story is, uh, is, is sort of the quintessential American story. It's a roadmap for us Catholics of how to be, uh, us Catholics in America, for how to be Catholic. And we wanted to tell this story in a new way in these exhibits, and we did. I think uh, we're going to have some interactive multimedia, um, uh, interactive displays. We're going to have uh, a whole a whole sequence by which people can learn about her life and see images from her life, and most importantly, uh, really in interact with and see actual objects that she owned and touched, um, actual her actual writings. We're going to have her actual letters on display. And we're very excited that, you know, as she's, she's often always picked it in her black bonnet, the only black bonnet known to exist is going to be on display as part of this exhibit. So we're very excited and we're hoping that all of this will really connect people with her in a new way. Absolutely. I, I love that. And really bringing her to life for everyone. That's incredible. Yes. Um, how long do you think the renovations will take and when do you expect the project to be completed? Sure. Yeah, our goal is to be open about a year from now. It may take a little longer. Uh, but I'd encourage everybody to keep an eye out on our website, um, uh, and and we'll be we'll be sending out press releases when it's ready. So, uh, so and I'd, I'd ask you all to pray for us because it's it's quite an undertaking for us. You know, Tracy, when we started this, this was just the germ of an idea, and it's really been made possible by this uh, this uh, a, a capital campaign, our first ever capital campaign, that's that's really uh, exceeded our expectations. So um, we're really we're really looking forward to the fruit of that work about a year from now. Maybe maybe next August, September, we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, please, please pray for an expeditious uh, completion to this effort. Absolutely, we will, and hope to have you back on once it's completed. Thank you so much, Tony. Great to have you on. Thank you, Tracy. Great to be with you.